Hey, welcome back everyone to the Levi Spade Show. Your host, Levi. Hope you're doing okay, that you're healthy, you don't have the uh, coronavirus. Uh, hope your loved ones are still well. I know mine are. Say, uh, you're probably uh, cooped up in your place and you're maybe tired of watching all the news and uh, bad things going on and you just want to maybe focus on something else. And I've certainly been focusing on investing and continuing to push myself to learn new things about stocks and how to invest my money. Uh, more than ever right now, you have to be careful and squirrel away more money for the future. These are uncertain times and you want to be able to prepare for the future as best as you can. Uh, what I came across in my journey with investing is looking at a lot of different stock charts and the indicators that help me determine whether I want to uh, look further into a stock and potential investing my money with it is the RSI indicator and that is the relative strength indicator and investors use this to determine uh, how much momentum the stock has had going up and how much momentum the stock has had going down. Now the RSI at 14 days is the most common but other investors tailor it and maybe have a shorter or a longer RSI. So uh, with the problem of spending so much time looking at different and all these charts I wanted to come up with a tool I would allow me to glance at one sheet and see the list and be able to see right away the RSI for 10 different stocks. How do you do that? You know, if you would jump over to say uh, Yahoo Finance and try to find the RSI in a list of the stocks that you have on a watch list, you're not going to find it. You know, if you go to uh, TD Ameritrade and you look at the uh, list that you put together, you're not going to be able to find it very easily. It's going to be in the tiny in the bottom right corner. And then you got to flip to the next stock page. You know, if you were to go over to, say, Finviz or Charles Schwab's, uh, it's just not a very easy way to do this. Investors and even myself have discovered a way where you're able to create a free tool on your own and be able to uh, refer to it anytime and customize it color it the way you want and format it and be able to easily access it anytime on the go and be able to easily see uh, what's going on with the stocks that you're paying attention to. Let's dive over to my computer and not waste any more time. Boom! We're now here at my computer. You're looking at my desktop. I've got a web browser open and I've gone over to Google Sheets and all I simply searched for was Google Sheets in the uh, address bar and it directed me to Google's page here. So they let you know a little bit about Google Sheets and what it's possible. And this is what I use to help create the RSI indicator tool for the stocks that I want to keep track of. So let's go over to the uh, tool that I built. Here it is laid out. And I know there's a lot of data here. Don't be afraid of it. I know it's a lot of data. But if you just take one thing at a time, maybe come back the next day, work on something on adding to it, the next day adding to it, knowing that you're going to come up with some challenges and uh, some maybe hair pulling frustration, it's going to come out okay if you just keep at it over a few days and a weeks. And so this is a combination of just learning a bunch of different things you can do with Google Sheets. So let me point out for you real quick here, and I know it's kind of small on the screen, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here for you. And it looks similar to Excel, but this is Google's version in where you're able to insert data into a sheet. Google Sheets has this very great tool and when you are inputting um, something into a sheet you can input this very long formula into the sheet and this basically calls up uh, data from a stock. It's actually going out to a stock exchange and grabbing all the historical data for this particular stock and right now I have Apple stock, AAPL, there in the formula. And let me just briefly describe for you what this formula is asking the computer to get. It's asking 
uh, Google Finance to get the data for the stock Apple, you'll notice that they have uh, quotation marks and then a comma. So it's parsing out the different pieces of information that we are wanting from the computer. So in this situation, we want all the data. So what we want is the date, the open, the high, the low, the close, the volume for the stock uh, Apple. And what we they also want in this particular formula, what I wanted is the start date. And I told uh, Google that I wanted the uh, October 1st, 2019, and then I wanted the end date to be January 1st, 2022. And I put the future because I wanted to update automatically each day. I don't want to have to each time, each day, go in here and ask for the new data. So that's the great thing about Google Finance is it'll just automatically update as the markets go that each day. It'll just update the sheet for me. All I have to do then is go in here and look at it real quick and look at the tool that I built. In here, these are all different um, variables that you could change and customize. For this particular tool, uh, this is the best formula to use. What I've done is I've started to uh, create the uh, way that I'm able to get the true RSI for the Apple stock. So what I've done is I've calculated here the uh, change in the momentum of the close of the stock price for Apple. This one's basically subtracting uh, yesterday's date uh, close price from today's date. So no matter uh, if it's positive or negative, it's capturing that data and uh, telling me what the uh, value is for that. Here in the next column, the upward momentum is going to only return the uh, increases in the stock price. It's going to filter out all of the uh, downward movement of the stock. And then here it's going to just calculate the downward movement and just put a zero if it's going up that particular day. And then in this column here, column J, what it's doing is it's coming up with the average 14 days for the RSI. So it's taking the last 14 trading days for the close and it's calculating the uh, upward movement for the stock price and coming up with a nice number for me. And then in the next column here, it's just simply calculating the downward movement of the stock and giving me the 14 day average for this as well. And then in this column here, what it's doing is it's uh, dividing the downward movement by the upward movement to give me the relative strength. And then lastly, this column here, stick with me. I know this is getting kind of complicated and long, but here is where it gives me the true RSI. So what it's doing is it's adding 100, subtracting 100, and then dividing this number and adding one to it. And this is just simply the complicated formula that they use to get the true RSI for the stock for Apple. And this is the exponential. So this is a more uh, accurate way to track uh, the RSI and the stock price momentum for Apple. So it's a powerful formula and it's a good indicator to use to see uh, the condition and health of a stock uh, such as Apple. Now what you can see that I've done here is I've done some conditional formatting and just like in Excel you can do this with Google Sheets is you can tell the computer that if you if it sees a number that's greater than 80 then highlight it in red and give me white text. So you can see all of the numbers here for the RSI it's gone in and highlighted everything in red with the number that's over 80 and then on the flip side uh, because I want to be able to see it turn green and know right away when a stock has an RSI of 20 or below, then it's a good time and potentially a good time to look at investing in the stock. So anything less than 20 highlight in green. So this is a very great way to automate a way for your sheet to be able to show you when is it time to buy and when is it time to sell. So this is just one indicator, RSI, and you can add more indicators in the future. But this is just a good, simple start to uh, understanding 
uh, how investors look at stocks and what kind of indicators they use. So uh, this was a good exercise for me to go to and uh, really learn at how RSI is calculated and that uh, will help me in understanding how investors mentality is towards certain stocks. So I'm going to include this uh, file on my Patreon page. If you want this full file, I'm going to provide it there for you so you don't have to take the time to type in all these formulas. I have some complicated uh, formulas here so that when it gets down to the bottom and the current date that there isn't all this extra data here that it's just going to return blank. So it keeps the sheet clean. This was something I just had to go the extra mile and learn on my own. It's going to improve as time goes on and I learn even more about Google Sheets and how formulas work. Uh, this is something that I'm excited about. It's been important to my financial journey and it's just going to help overall in my speed of learning more about investing in the future. Hey, if this has piqued your interest, here is what's possible and what I've been working on for my own sheet. So here's some stocks that I just threw in there. There's some here that you might have seen lately in the news. But what I've done here is done some conditional formatting to color the sheet automatically if a number is above or below a certain number. But also there's some indicators here that I've built in to kind of show right away in each column and line them up is are they meeting these particular criteria is the RSI uh, a certain number is it uh, the volume change you know how many shares is, is being traded for this particular stock from the day before usually when there's a big spike in shares being traded for a stock there's going to be some big movement whether up or down and it'd be great to see that and be prepared so that's why I wanted to include it in my sheet and then also for the average volume you know wanting to know uh, what's the average volume been for this stock is there little interest to it or is there a lot of interest by investors this is going to really dictate the stock price movement and I want a heartbeat on that and so that's why I've included my sheet and then lastly here is the uh, above 15 SMA simple moving average so like the average for volume I want to know the average stock price if it's below the uh, 15 SMA I want it green so that I'll know that it's a good time to buy green is to buy red is to sell so if it's you know above the 15 SMA then that's really good the stock price is at a strong point and I want it to be highlighted red with white text so that I alerts me visually okay Levi you should be looking at the stock and be prepared to sell it if it um, you know starts to go back down so that's where you know I've got even more fancy here with Google Sheets and that is uh, is it time to buy or is it time to sell and with Google Sheets what you can to do with computers now is you can tell it hey if all four of these uh, metrics indicators here are uh, true or false or a combination of them then highlight green if they're all below a certain number and false then have it highlight red for me so uh, that's a real quick rundown of uh, a sheet that I've been building so that I can quickly glance at just the stocks that I want to see and the uh, different indicators that I think are most important for a stock. So uh, if this piques your interest, just know that it is possible. This is all free. I didn't pay any money to any service to get these type of features. Wanted to open your mind to that and make you aware that there's other great advanced tools out there if you're willing to spend some money every month to them or you can be building a sheet like this in Google Sheets and be able to customize and color code it the way you like and then be able to access it anytime on any device. Uh, I just wanted to add that. This is a lot of information I've thrown at you. Feel free to pause, rewind this uh, video here on YouTube and really dig into it if you're excited for the RSI indicator. Definitely let me know what you guys think. Have you guys already come up with a tool or found one online that you really love and use? I'd love to hear. Comment below and smash that like button 
if this video has been helpful and you learned something. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. It will really help me determine uh, what video content is important to you guys. And hit that bell icon if you want to see the videos that I upload right away. I'll see you guys in the next video.